Welcome back to the Lion's Den, Trojans and Lions. Today is a marvelous Monday, and we will be reading a book called Maui Slows the Sun. Now, what do you think this book is about? Yeah, it could be about summer because of the colors, and it talks about the sun. It could also be about someone named Maui and how they are trying to stop something, right? And the thing they're trying to stop is the sun. All right, let's go ahead and take a look what this book is all about. Maui Slows the Sun by Gabriel Auli. On a small island in the middle of the ocean, there lived a young boy. His name was Maui. Maui's island was constantly veiled in darkness. The sun raced too quickly across the sky, its rays never touching the land. Maui heard the music of his mother pounding kapa every day, but the kapa she labored over never dried. Maui had never felt the warmth of the sun of the earth under his feet and that made him feel restless and sad. Now, why do you think Maui never felt the warmth of the earth under his feet? Why didn't he feel the warmth? Yeah, because the sun is what warms up the earth. And since the sun was racing across the island, it never gave a chance to have the earth warm up. He decided to meet with the sun and convince him to travel more slowly across the sky. In the cool still night, he made his way to the sun's lair, bringing a cord of Olona along. Maui saw the first few beams of the sun reach out from behind the mountaintop. Quickly, Maui threw his cord around the sun's rays and pulled tight. Do you see the cord right here? Ooh, and he caught the sun. The sun gasped and strained, but Maui refused to let go. Maui begged the sun to slow down and let his light touch the world below. The sun was too proud to let the young boy win, but Maui would not relent. Do you think Maui would, was gonna give up? No, he says that he was relentless. He was not gonna give up and let the sun go. After many hours of struggle, the sun agreed to climb the sky more slowly, but only for half of the year. Pleased with his com compromise, Maui released the sun and made his way home, feeling the warmth of the sun on his back for the first time. Maui could now feel the warm sand under his feet and see his mother's kappa dry in the sun. His island of darkness was now an island of music and light. You can see how happy they are with the sun because the sun is now not racing across the earth, right? It's staying right up here for them to feel the warmth. The end. So, I want us to think back to this page. Maui can now feel the warm sand under his feet and see his mother's kappa dry in the sun. His island of darkness was now an island of music and light. Why do you think the island was now an island of music and light? What do you think? 
Yeah, maybe because music usually makes us happy, right? And light, it means positive and bright. And since the sun was now here on the island, people felt happy that they now were able to experience the wonders of the sun. All thanks to Maui. All right, Trojans and Lions, that's the end of our read aloud. Go ahead and go to Google Classroom and check out our question for the day. Bye.